Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today we are going to show you how to solve WinLoad EFI missing in Windows. We have three parts in this video. Part one: the causes to WinLoad EFI missing. Part two: two ways to fix WinLoad EFI missing errors. Part three. How to avoid WinLoad EFI missing? Have you ever met this situation? The application or operating system couldn't be loaded because the required file is missing or contains errors, and missing file is WinLoad EFI. The WinLoad EXE file is the Windows operating system bootloader to boot system correctly. In UEFI systems, it's called WinLoad EFI, and located at Windows System 32 WinLoad EFI or Windows System 32 Boot WinLoad EFI. Sometimes you might encounter other error codes associated with WinLoad EFI file, like these error codes. This video will help you resolve these WinLoad EFI missing problems with detailed steps. Just keep watching. There are some factors should be responsible for the WinLoad EFI file is missing after cloning. Number one, the incorrect registry key. The source disk and target disk owns different ID for volumes and drive letter, so you have to change the registry key after cloning. Number two, improper UEFI settings. The UEFI and the legacy mode requires different boot files and algorithms, so make sure you set up correct settings for your destination disk. Number three, the corrupted BCD files. Sometimes cloning will damage the BCD store files, and then you will get the WinLoad EFI error message or other WinLoad EFI missing problems. Just repair BCD files first. Therefore, how to repair WinLoad EFI missing after cloning? Don't worry about it. Let's see the solutions. According to the causes, we offer two solutions for you. Just check it. Solution one: disable Secure Boot. The Secure Boot will stop your system from accessing the WinLoad EFI file if you have a UEFI-based computer. So boot into BIOS. And find the secure boot option, then disable it. If solution one is not working for you, try solution two. Use disk part to repair. Boot with the Windows installation disk, then go to Advanced Options, click Command Prompt, input these commands below. Each command comes with an enter. Here you should choose a volume which is system reserved partition with system labeled. Assign a proper drive letter that not in use to it. Now restart your computer to check if the WinLoad EFI missing after cloning is solved. If nothing helps, you can also try to repair Windows system files or fix corrupted BCD files with disk part. You can click the link in the description below to see details. But rather than try to fix it with effort, why not avoid this situation while cloning? Now let's see how to avoid this situation. If you encounter problems continuously after or while cloning, maybe you should turn to a professional software for help. Alme Backup is a powerful hard drive cloning software, which can help you clone without any issue. Just Google Alme Backupper, download and install it. Run Alme Backupper. Come to its homepage. Select Clone. Then select Disk Clone. Choose Windows System Disk as source drive and hit Next. Select a larger HDD or SSD as destination. Hit Next. Preview the operations. And press Start Clone to avoid the WinLoad EFI missing. After a short wait, 
it would be finished. After cloning, change the first boot device as the clone drive in BIOS, and then boot your computer to the clone disk. It's useful to fix WinLoad EFI missing according to the above solutions, but we'd better avoid this situation in advance by using Omni Backupper to clone. That is all about how to solve WinLoad EFI missing in Windows. Hope you can benefit from it. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.